Hello YouTube! Happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and I am a bikini competitor and a online and posing coach for bikini and wellness in PCA and NPC. But that's me. Um, welcome back to another video, uh, another weekend vlog. Now, um, today is Sunday, I normally film on a Saturday. And if I'm being honest, I did start this yesterday, um, but I had to scrap that footage because, okay, first things first, I just kind of need to give you a rundown of what's been happening. I was really worried that this week I wouldn't have much to talk about in the vlog, but in the space of two days that has changed because so much has gone down and I honestly don't even know where to start. We are 17 weeks out today, so we are three weeks into prep. There has been absolutely no changes to my weight. So three weeks into prep and I am at the exact same weight I was starting. So obviously we got a little concerned. Um, first of all, the main issue we had was that I was waking up in the morning very bloated and in pain, which we thought that could be the reason. So we completely switched my meal plan around. So I will show you all of that today because today is mainly a full day of eating on my rest day, but we'll get into that in a little minute. Um, so we switched our meal plan around, no change. Okay, Olivia, it is time to go to the doctor and get your bloods done. So yeah, last week, last Friday, I went to get my bloods done and they are back. And my coach and I are just in the process of reviewing them, but we've pretty much pinned down the reason as to why we're not making any progress despite being in a calorie deficit, doing cardio and staying on top of absolutely everything. So I will get into that in a minute as well. But first of all, if you've watched my videos, if you've watched my previous um, series and everything, you'll know that I struggle with um, amenorrhea. So a loss of your period, a menstrual cycle. Men, you can skip ahead two minutes if you want. Um, so yeah, I haven't had a period in a very long time. I didn't, I had one throughout the whole off season. And now three weeks into prep, she has arrived. Okay, I was in a lot of pain yesterday, so it was just kind of about pushing through work and training and I did not want to pick up the camera. However, I am going to insert a clip here somewhere um, of a reel I'm making for Instagram or that I've already made, it's probably up there. I had two of my amazing posing clients come down to me yesterday, all the way from Dublin, two and a half hour drive, just to see me and pose with me. So I had two girls come down together. We um, we did individual lessons first, then I brought them together and my heart has never been so full. She came home and had a cry yesterday because I just realized how I play a part in their journeys and just how amazing it is like you can call me unprofessional if you want I know this can be quite controversial to some people but I do pride myself in building a relationship with my clients they are not just clients to me they are my friends and I am just so honored to be a part of their journeys to be able to help them live their dreams because this is what it is like you go on stage to live your dream and you want everything to be perfect. You want your physique to be perfect, but you also want your posing to be perfect. And I am just so, so happy that I can help them with that. Over the last week, I have been experiencing some PMS symptoms, like bloating, cramps, and some other bits and pieces. Um, so the arrival of the time of the month definitely explains why my body was holding on to so much water. So I am hoping to see a nice drop over the next few days once, once she's gone. Now, first of all, this is why getting your blood work done, especially as an athlete, is so important. Because if I didn't, we'd keep pushing food lower, we'd keep pushing cardio higher, and we wouldn't know what's happening. Now we have a clear explanation as to why my weight is not dropping. And just like we suspected, it is my low thyroid. Right now, my coach and I are in the process of discussing our options. Prep is still going ahead. I am not quitting, but we are going to need some help. So this will be for the next video once we kind of sit down and really decide on what we're going to do. So I will leave that for the next video. On a brighter note, today is a full day of eating. I'm going to show you all of my rest day meals. I'm going to share the calories and the macros and everything. So if that is a trigger for you, 
please click off the video. There's plenty of other videos I have there for you to watch. And also please do not copy what I'm doing. Um, I am a bodybuilding athlete. I am in a competition prep. It's not the healthiest of things to be doing for your regular lifestyle client or your regular person that enjoys the gym. So please do not copy. Watch for entertainment purposes only. But if you are here to stay, you're in for a full day of eating. Rest day, I'm going to share the calories and macros for the whole day with you right now. And rest day calories are currently at under 1700, which isn't terrible. I'm not somebody that can get away with very high calories. And then training day is just over 1700. So not big difference between rest day and training day. It's more the macro split that's different. So my fats are a little bit higher and my carbs are a little bit lower on a rest day and we kind of keep protein the same. So I'm just gonna focus on the rest days today. So we are looking at 1,683 calories. We are looking at 128 grams of protein, 176 grams of carbohydrates, and 51 grams of fat, which mainly come in the form of peanut butter. You're gonna see, you're gonna see a thing here. Then cardio wise, we are at 35 minutes every day now, which really isn't too bad. Um, I usually tend to split it up. I leave 20 minutes for post-workout so I can get onto the Stairmaster and then whatever else I have, I do fasted in the morning. Hence the 5 a.m. wake up calls, especially with the change in my meal plan. You're not gonna see a lot of carbs in it. Um, because most, well you are, but most of my carbs come in the form of fruit right now just to help with my stomach and my digestion because I don't know if I've mentioned, I do have IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. So a lot of foods do hurt me and you know, digestion is kind of key here. Um, we don't eat for enjoyment at this stage. We eat for purpose. We eat for performance and keeping me alive. So we need to make sure I am not in pain when I go to the gym, when I go train, when I do my cardio and just on the daily, I really need to be taking care of that. The plan today is I am not leaving the house. Maybe to get some steps in, but I am not leaving the house because honestly, I just wanna curl up into a ball on the couch with a hot water bottle, but I have things to do first. So I need to go downstairs, finish meal prepping for the week. It is Sunday, as I said, so work starts tomorrow. So I need to finish meal prepping for work um, and then I'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to get out of bed so we can have our first meal together because that's what we do on a day off. We try to eat our meals together. Actually, one more thing. So I will show this to you later on in the video because I am still working on it. I've got my laptop right, in, right here in front of me. But something I've been very worried about this season on top of prep itself is paying for all of it. I am doing four shows with three of them being abroad. That is the most I've done. The most shows I've done abroad up until now was two. This year we have three and one is a bit of a drive. It is a lot of expenses and I've been doing some calculating and I need a lot of money for this season. So something I want to share with you here today in this video, which might be helpful to a lot of new competitors or maybe seasoned competitors that still struggle to kind of finance um, and budget for shows because it is a very expensive sport. We're not looking at a few hundred euro here, we're looking at thousands. So I have been creating a little spreadsheet where I'm going to be keeping track of my expenses and definitely at the end of prep, I will make a video just kind of summarizing it and give you an insight into how much money you actually need for a bodybuilding prep or how much money you can get away with not spending. Um, so I am working on that, but a little plan I have made for myself. So I get paid every second week at work or bi-weekly, so twice a month. So every two weeks I have decided I'm going to be paying for something regarding show day. So this week my plan is to book my flights for show number two. So show number one is just a drive away, so amazing. But show number two is a flight away. So my plan is to pay for those flights and also pay for my NPC and my PCA memberships because in order to compete at certain shows, you need to be a member of that federation. And since I am competing with the PCA federation and the NPC federation this year, I need to pay for membership um, for both. I literally will not ramble here any longer. By the way, today it is a comfy kind of day. And yeah, I am wearing pants there underneath, but yeah, today we just want to be comfy because my tummy is sore. Uh, but yeah, I'm just wearing my huge oversized GASP. It is so comfy. You can use code GASP15 um, on their website if you want to get anything with a little cheeky disco. 
But yeah, no, I love wearing this around the house. As I said, I need to go downstairs, finish my meal prep for the week. I need to make breakfast. Um, and then obviously today is a day where I can actually eat my meals at home cooked fresh so that is what I'm gonna do I'm going to show you because six days out of the week I do eat at a Tupperware half of the time in my car but I think this intro is very long as it is so not gonna prolong this I will catch you in the next clip probably eating breakfast If you want to see how I go about doing all this for like meal prep for the week, it is my previous video. So make sure you click back and watch that. Okay, so it is finally time to make meal number one. I'm all prepped for the week now. So before I make meal number one, I'm going to show you what supplements I take in the morning. So as usual, when I got up and did my cardio, I took my Ohimbine. I then took my creatine, glutamine, vitamin C, and my fruits and greens. But I will show you a couple of new things that I have been implementing as well as my OGs that I take every single day. First of all, I put them in the cutest little box, Superwoman. And then John has Batman. I couldn't find a Catwoman one, so we have Superwoman and we have Batman. This morning, we have the usual vitamins, um, D3K2. So I take that every single day, just one cap. This is from Olymp. And then we have this is the multivit of choice for me because it has things like biotin and selenium which the selenium especially helps your testosterone, your free testosterone levels. So we take this, supplement needs. Then we have the usual omegas. I always get the trained by JP omegas. So it has all of the three, six and nines and they actually come from flaxseed oil rather than fish. And I don't eat a lot of fish. I don't like fish. My stomach doesn't like fish. So these are perfect and you don't get that fishy taste of them after. Then the two new additions to this prep. So I did take this in my last prep. We did cut it out in the off season and it is now back, the thyroid stack. Now, why am I taking a thyroid stack and my um, thyroid is still low? Because the thing is, this will help you. It'll help you not to drop the thyroid too low when you're in prep. However, if it's already low, it will not do anything to bring it back up. So we just kind of take this to make sure it doesn't drop any lower. But obviously I did tell you, we're probably gonna have new protocols in place very soon to fix my thyroid. One more thing, which is completely new this prep, and it is also trained by JP Loveheart. So obviously as an athlete, I put my body through a lot and my heart goes under a lot as well. So we are taking care of my ticker this prep. There's a lot of pills and also that pink one there, I don't have the packaging, it's just biotin for like hair, skin, nails, don't mind the noise. John's cooking my egg. Uh, yeah, so I need to swallow these somehow and that is my morning stack. And I do have a discount code free as always. Um, I get all of my supplements, have been for the last two years from mycoresupplements.ie. They ship to Ireland, free shipping over a certain amount. They ship worldwide. Um, if you're here in Ireland, it's literally like next day delivery, which is amazing. Uh, and you can use my code, my name, Olivia, for 10% off, which goes a long way if you're ordering high quality supplements because obviously they're going to be expensive. So any little bit helps. I'm going to put it together and show you the finished product. I probably won't show you myself eating it because I do want to just um, sit down at the table and eat it in peace with John. And the lighting in there is absolutely terrible. So I hope you do like the array of alcohol we have up there behind me. Great background, Olivia. It is not mine. Um, we don't really drink. You'll catch us with a drink about once or twice a year. Isn't that right? If you've been, and it's usually like pink gin and tonic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this together and eat because I'm hungry and I'm in pain. And voila, here we have it. One egg, one sad little egg. I do have egg whites on a train day, not a rest day though. So just one little egg that I made in the mini pan. We got our salad to fill up the volume. Rashers, veg, bagel thin. And whilst I'm enjoying a bagel thin, just one egg. What do you have? Four eggs. Two Four bagels. eggs, two whole bagels. 
Are you excited to say goodbye to that soon? No. <laughs> if you watch my previous videos, you'll know John is also entering a prep very, very soon. As of now, I'm the only one in prep. However, he is in like a maintenance phase or a priming phase for prep. So his food has dropped closer to maintenance rather than pushing food like he did on his bulk. But he will be entering his prep very, very soon. So I'd say this will be one of the first meals to drop. His rice has already dropped. Rice has dropped a lot. Rice yeah. has dropped a lot and I'd say this will be the next meal that goes. Um, I'm looking at one bagel. Yeah, I'm looking at one bagel. I actually don't, if I still have one bagel, I won't mind too much. Uh, no, you'll have a bagel for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I know I show John a lot on this channel, but you've never actually talked to him. So we are going to sit down and do a Q&A together soon. I've already popped everything on my Instagram, so you can head over there. Um, follow me over there and you can just go into the links in there and ask us a question if you want And I will make it into a bonus video. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna answer your questions. You're gonna get to know us and Cue all the bloopers Oh, there's gonna be a lot of bloopers, but not for me from him um, But yeah, we're gonna sit down enjoy breakfast together because we never get to do that apart from like one day a week so Yeah I'm not gonna bore you with watching us eat it. Um, I will pop the macros and everything on the screen like I mentioned. And after that, I will probably see you at meal number two. Okay, so I just dragged myself off the couch, which is just so bizarre to me. Like I never have days like this where I just chill and do nothing, but I'm gonna be honest, my cramps are so, so bad. And I literally just can't get myself off of the couch, but we made it, we're here. And it's time for meal number two. So I have some bits already prepped, some things I need to cook fresh, so I'll show that to you. But I'll break it down now before I show you. So it's 45 grams raw weight of jasmine rice, always jasmine. Um, then we have 125 grams of turkey mince, which has changed because we used to do beef, 5% beef, but my stomach wasn't taking it very well. So we switched over to turkey mince, 1% fat turkey mince. Alongside that is just a bit of veg. So I do green beans that I already have cooked up and mushrooms and peppers that I have cooked up as well. So the only thing I really need to cook is the turkey because if I get the time, I do like to make it fresh because obviously meal prepped, it does go a bit dry. So yeah, that's pretty much my next meal. We're then probably gonna try and head out of the house for some steps because as I said, I've been sat on the couch. I am on 1,200 steps and my target is 12K. So we're probably gonna go on a long walk and get a coffee. Um, the weather's actually not too bad, it's not raining. And I think I'll just take a painkiller and kind of push through the pain. So yeah, I'm gonna put that meal together. I'll show you what seasoning I'm gonna use my turkey though. So obviously, um, you're not a bodybuilder if you don't absolutely love Nando's. It's one of my go-to post-show meals or off-plan meals during the off-season. But only when we go away because Galway doesn't have a Nando's. Galway needs to get on getting a Nando's. But anyway, I went to Tesco last night and I found this. It is absolutely amazing. And medium is always the spice that I go for when I'm at Nando's. I used to have a few of the sauces as well. You can get them in Tesco here too. They're good too, but I don't have any. But I'm gonna season my turkey with literally just this and it's gonna be amazing. I'm actually really hungry. So I'm gonna get that meal in. I still have three meals left after that. So it's a good day. I forgot to show you some other essential components of this meal. First of all, pickles. Pickled food is actually really good for your stomach. If you do struggle with um, like stomach issues, pickled foods like pickles, sauerkraut, anything fermented, kimchi is really good for you. We have the newest addition to my chicken and rice and my chicken and turkey meals, which is pineapple. 100 grams of pineapple for digestion and protein absorption, which I actually didn't know, but my coach clearly did. So I've actually really been enjoying this. It kind of feels like I'm having a dessert after because no, I do not mix it in there. And for some spice, good old sriracha. And voila, here we have it. Turkey, jasmine rice, veggies, sriracha, pickles. And I'm gonna get a life taste test because this is the first time in months I'm having turkey fresh out of the pan and not meal prepped. So we need this moment on camera. Bit of rice, bit of turkey. Mmm. 
You can really taste that Nando seasoning in there. Did you use it on your chicken? I did, yeah. Do you want to give us a taste test? It's good, isn't it? Mm. Pretty much like I'm having Nando's. The only mm. thing I'm missing is a corn on the cob, which is my favourite side in Nando's. But we don't have the carbs for corn. So don't worry, we are actually going to sit and eat this. I'm not going to eat standing in the kitchen. So as I said, I'm going to eat this. Macros will be on screen. And then I'm actually going to go put some clothes on. And we're going to head out for some steps and we'll need a coffee. I appreciate that I'm making my meals really nice. So. Oh yeah, his meals. Let me see. They never look like that. His meals never look this nice. <laughs> so don't get used to it. Um, but yeah, macros will be on screen. I'm going to eat and head out. And I will then catch you at meal number three, which is one of my smaller meals today. But it's my absolute favorite. But, so it has just gone 3 p.m. And I'm absolutely defeated. I honestly feel like the last months of periods that I've missed have just hit me all at once. I literally felt sick on my walk. We had a coffee. And I honestly think we're just going to chill out in bed for the rest of the day, if I'm being honest. I might look at some leggings online because I need new gym leggings. And I'm going to look into booking those flights for show number two like I told you and pay for my memberships I will show you when I'm doing that because I want to show you the spreadsheet that I made of how I'm going to track my expenses this prep so I will show that to you when I actually get around to it I might just chill for a solid hour now before I actually eat like I'm hungry but my stomach's just so sore that I don't think getting food in right now is a good idea and I'm only on 5k steps and I don't think I'll be getting much more in. So if my coach is watching this, I'm really sorry. But you're going to have to excuse me. Like, I know us girls use periods as an excuse for a lot of things. Um, why are you laughing? <laughs> no reason. But if you haven't had one for months. And it suddenly hits you as hard as it hit me. Um, if you can't get your steps in, you're excused. And I'm going to excuse myself today. And I'm going to feel sorry for myself today. And hopefully I feel better tomorrow and I'm going to work. It's also, but it's also a tough time for me as well. It's a tough time for him as well. I've been yeah. an absolute bitch to him. <laughs> um, no, I haven't. Um, so yeah, literally, I'm just going to chill out. I'm really embracing this day. I told you, I never get days like this. Like I'm always so go, go, go. So I'm just so grateful to actually be able to chill this weekend. Um, before another crazy week. So... Yeah, I literally have nothing to report here. I'm sorry if the vlog is really boring. Um, if you're bored here, definitely head over to my Instagram. There's a lot happening there with my posing clients right now. Um, or watch some other videos that I've created before. But right now, this is the vibe. I think I'm dying. I don't know. Not yet. Not yet, okay. Anyway, actually, I'll show you something around my walk. Absolute favourite. I don't really have much sweeteners in my diet, just because... IBS. But sometimes I do treat myself like today. And I got this. It's sparkling water. Um, flavored sparkling water. So it's lemonade flavor. But it literally does not taste like water at all. It tastes like pure lemonade. Fizzy lemonade. It's called sparkling ice. I think you can literally get it anywhere. I've seen people in the US drinking them. I've seen people here drinking them. And they're like 2 calories for 100 mils. So we're looking at what? Like less than 10 calories for this whole bottle. So I don't need to track that or worry about that. But no, it's really good. So I treated myself to this. Got a coffee when I was in Costa earlier. Just an Americano. And yeah, I'm just going to chill here. Maybe watch some YouTube or some Grey's Anatomy that we've been binging. Um, and I'll see you downstairs at my next meal. Or I'll see you here at my next meal because I'm probably going to bring it up to bed. Okay, I've dragged myself out of bed. And we're having five of these corn cake thins from Tesco. My absolute favourite. But they are often out of stock, so Aldi do the exact same ones. With that, we have 20 grams of whey isolate. Now, this is the only one I use at the moment from Train by JP that I also get of my core supplements. Um, isolate, caramel fudge flavor, and I also have vanilla, which is just as nice. But today, we're feeling caramel. So I've made that into a whey paste earlier. 
and I popped it into the fridge. With that we have 50 grams of blueberries, which I've mentioned I have been incorporating for just some antioxidant purposes and just general health and I do love berries. And then we're going to have my apple from my breakfast, which I'm going to chop up. And 20 grams of the best peanut butter there is. Pipe and not, sweet and salty. We're going for smooth. Yeah, I absolutely love this meal. It's not a big meal and the apple isn't really even part of it. But it is my absolute favourite. I'm in love with these. I was eating them non-stop in the off-season and I begged my coach to put them on for prep and he has on a rest day so I'm very happy with that. In the meantime I'm also soaking up my oats for later on. If you watch my videos know I do that. I always pour boiling water over my oats and I actually leave them aside for like two hours just so they go nice and fluffy and then I'll pop them back in the microwave with my whey but it just makes them nice and fluffy and they're actually a lot easier to digest that way and I've also saved a little bit of my apple that I'm gonna have with the oats later too but that's for later on but for now we're going to enjoy this little array of snacks i wouldn't really call it a meal it's pretty much a snack but we got five of the corn cakes three of them have nut butter the other two i'm going to dip in the whey paste and i'm probably also going to dip the apple in the whey paste and then the blueberries are just an addition to have on the side but that's it not big but my absolute favorite meal of the day so we're gonna go watch some netflix and enjoy this and i'm gonna pop the macros on the screen I have the best boyfriend and you'll see why. This is every day. I've got my little table that I actually eat my last meal in bed on usually. How amazing is this? So I've got some of this left. We've got Grey's playing there. And for dessert. And for dessert, my unhealthy <laughs> addiction. Um, but yeah, we've got our corn cakes. And we've got a movie, so we're pretty much watching a movie and eating popcorn. And I am here for it. And the final thing that always happens when I'm in bed with my last meal. Yeah. <laughs> I am seriously living the life today. If I wasn't in pain, this would be perfect. Enjoy. My food. Dip it into the whey paste. I'm a happy gal right now. I kind of wish this day wouldn't end. But yeah, this first, is a full day of eating. What? First proper rest day. This is my first proper rest day in the longest time. Yeah. Anyway, today's a full day of eating, so I'll see you at my next meal. Well, this didn't last long. Well, this didn't I last long. will see you on my next rest day. <laughs> Off flights. Officially a 2023 member NPC. So I am officially allowed to compete because no matter what happens, this prep will be completed. I will step on stage and it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I think I just spent like 300 euro. Flights were nearly, nearly 200. 40 pounds for PCA membership and 55 US dollars for NPC membership. So now I'm going to show you the spreadsheet that I've created of how I'm going to track my expenses. Oh, here it is. Very simple. Very professional. Very professional, yes. So very simple. I'm just going to show it to you like this. Um, so I've kind of broken it up into categories. There you have coaching, so what I pay my coach, supplements, memberships, show registrations, flights, accommodation, bikini, shoes, jewelry, all of that, tan hair and makeup for show day, stage photography, and just a little column for unexpected because you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna keep adding the amount into these columns and then I've kind of put in a formula for it to add it all up for me. So right now I've paid my coach once this month. So we have the 150 in there and I'm just about to add what I spent on the flights and the memberships there. I just need to count it up and go into my app and see how much your it actually was because all different currencies. So I've counted it up there. So we're gonna start with the flights. So we have 180 euro because I got a 20 kg bag, a 10 kg bag, flights and seats. 
That's already 330 euro. NPC. And so I'm doing this with one hand. And PCA. So we have us nicely to 97 euro. And yeah, this is literally just a fraction. But you see how the tracker is going to work. I'm going to keep adding to it as I spend money on things related to prep. We have our total there and there will be a video at the very end of prep summarizing all of this. Okay, that looks better now. I've added a little bit of color and some outlines and it's much easier to read. So yeah, here we go. My little tracker. Training uh, written out for both me and John for the whole week. Gym bags packed, work clothes laid out, food is made. Now it's time for meal number four, which is my last meal of the day that has carbs. Very excited for it. I do love a bowl of oats and you can probably hear my voice. I'm very tired right now. <laughs> I am so, so grateful to have had a weekend like this. And obviously a part of me does feel like I wasted it doing nothing, but at the same time, my body was literally screaming for a bit of rest. So I did just that. Now I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to shower, hop into bed and probably go to sleep at like nine o'clock because I am up at five tomorrow for cardio and work. So let's go downstairs join John in the kitchen and make our meal. Um, the kitchen is a little loud because we're cooking here, but so you see the oats soaked up the water that I put in earlier. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and then we're gonna add in my whey isolate, same as earlier, this time vanilla ice cream flavor. So I'm gonna pop that in there and then pop them in the microwave. So they really fluffing up and thicken up. With that, we have 10 grams of 85% dark chocolate, has to be 85 unfortunately. Then I have 50 grams of blueberries and a little bit of the apple that I saved from earlier. And then to top it off, we have 15 grams of the same sweet and salty nut butter that I use, but I'm gonna do a little bit of crunchy and a little bit of smooth, because I do love a bit of crunch in my oats. So I'm gonna put it together and show you the finished product. And voila, here we have it. I was gonna put it in a small Pyrex bowl, but for the love of God, I cannot find it. So now it just looks like I have barely any food. But we've got a whole 50 grams of oats here, 15 whey berries, the rest of the apple, 10 grams dark chocolate, 15 nut butter. And I will pop the macros on the screen for this meal. And then I have one more meal left after this. So I will probably outro the video before. I'll outro the video before my last meal, but I'll still show it to you. So yeah, baby spoon for good measure. And last carbs going in until about noon tomorrow. All right, so I'm back in my, our office slash room. I have a bit of work to finish before the day is over. Just some form reviews for my clients because check-ins already done. I've got my bowl of oats. I'll get a life taste test for you. So we're gonna get a bit of oats, berries, bit of chocolate on there. Mmm. I absolutely love a good bowl of oats, especially with this protein powder. But yeah, uh, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to outro the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to drop it a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment so I can interact with you. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram, follow me there for daily updates and I will still show you my last meal but I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned for more prep updates and another vlog next weekend. Videos live 8am every Saturday and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, whatever it is and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!